Obesity and diabetes are the pandemics of the 21st century. During the last 18 months, the severity of this problem increased due to COVID-19. Lockdowns, lack of exercise, and unhealthy foods as a form of compensation are major drivers in the growth of these challenges. We simply eat too much sugar and it is not healthy. I can almost say that we are addicted to it. Can we reduce the amount of sugar we consume while keeping the food tasty and healthy? Hmm, let's check it out. I would like to introduce you to four companies. Each one of them found a way to improve what we eat. The first keeps using sugar, but found a way to reduce most of it. All the products that you see on the table here have 50% less sugar in it, but have exactly the same taste. The second uses nature to reduce sugar. Sugar is not only bad for our health, it's also bad for our planet. Our protein is 4,000 times sweeter than sugar. 4,000 times sweeter than exactly. sugar. The third learned how to turn sugar into fibers. We have the solution to keep all the goodies of the juice without the sugar. And the fourth one converted junk food full of sugar into superfood. We took the worst thing it could be because it was delicious and we made it into a healthy snack. So you, you've made junk food healthy food? Exactly. Sounds like a low sugar yet sweet future. As we've already learned, these solutions usually start with the need to solve a problem. Everyone knows about the need to reduce sugars in our food. So let's learn about the new technologies these companies have developed. Okay, so I see my favorite things to eat in the whole world, okay, on one table. So what is the catch? The catch is that all the products that you see on the table here uh -huh. have 40 to 50% less sugar in it, but have exactly the same taste. Same taste, yeah. I promise. I promise. Because it's too good to be true and, and well, like, it will like taste the next level of too good to be true, yeah? Our product is basically the only solution in the world for sugar reduction that is based on actual sugar. We make a small physical change at the structure of the crystal. We made the sugar dissolve faster. So basically, when you take a bite now, almost double the amount of sugar is dissolved and reach your taste receptors, which allows it to feel much sweeter. When more sugar reaches our taste buds, we can use less sugar. Absolutely. And keep the same taste. It's as simple as that, yes. It's as simple and as mind-blowing as that. Amaya is sweet in Japanese, and our first product is the first healthy, tasty, sustainable protein which can replace a significant amount of sugar without anyone noticing that it is not full sugar. A new protein that you've invented? Yes, it's a novel protein which we computationally design. We print the DNA of it and we produce it in yeast or fungi. We get a white powder, 100% protein. One kilogram of our protein replaces four tons of sugar. Consequently, we are even cheaper than sugar in sweetness units. Now, you can taste our ketchup. You won't be able to distinguish between the full sugar ketchup and our ketchup. What do you think? Ketchup. Just ketchup. In this case, we have 70% less added sugar 70%. compared to regular ketchup. Wow, that's amazing. Better juice? What do you mean? How can you make juice better? I mean, it's tasty, it's healthy, it's natural, it's juice. Did you know that natural juice is full with sugar? More than synthetic drinks. For example, orange contains 11% of sugar, mango contains 16% of sugar, and grape juice contains 20% of sugar. I didn't know that. It's a lot of sugar. Wow. And we have the solution to reduce this sugar and keep all the goodies of the juice, all of it, without the sugar. How are you doing that? So we are taking an apple juice with a bad sugar. Through the bioreactor, you can see here the immobilized enzyme. It's converting the sugar to dietary fibers. Then you can see the treated apple juice. Wow. We're reducing how much? We can reduce up to 80% sugar. That's amazing. What about the taste? Let's try it. 
it's sweet <laughs> and tasty. And this is all natural, right? Yeah. Right. No. And if you can feel it's the same texture, yeah. which is also important. That's great. I can have more juice, basically. I like it. I believe that a great idea comes from a personal need, and you can't fight that force. Every one of these companies had a special story behind it, something really personal. My daughter got diagnosed as the type 1 diabetic. I was trying to find food for her that would be very low in glycemic index in carbohydrates, but still that she would enjoy and celebrate food. So we develop and sell very low carb products, which are delicious, have no artificial sweeteners in them, and they are clean label. Puff pastry, and of course, bread is very daily and basic. We created an amazing bun. We have pizza experts all over the world saying it's better than a normal pizza. This is a dream. It's like, you can imagine you can have pizza, you guys, and it has less carbs in it, less sugar in it. That sounds surreal. So I'm really gonna have to taste this to, to keep talking to you, to know where, where we are. This is very, very tasty. It's very tasty. It feels rich. I don't feel like I'm eating junk food. I feel, it feels good. Where did that idea come from? I have a feeling. Well, my dad was diabetic. I was a VP of a company that produced jam, marmalade. It bothers me because we are misleading the population, selling products that are for diabetics with sugar. So I started to look for a way to reduce this sugar, and I found it and established the better job. You're basically fighting the biggest disease of the 21st century. Obesity and diabetes, yeah. Wow. They're, they're killing much more than corona. And you have the vaccine. In a way, we have the cure. This is crazy. Each one of these companies can create a different technological solution. And my problem, my problem is how exactly am I going to eat all this food? Seriously. Imagine what a sweet world we can have with all these innovations. Wow. Stop what you're doing, come taste this, okay? Everyone come taste this right now. 50% less. So this is yogurt, which is sweetened by our protein. Just yogurt. Sweet, yeah. Sweet, low carbs and low sugar. High fiber, high protein. This okay, is actually health food, but the thing is... This is really good. Soon these new technologies will turn unhealthy food Fill the sugars into edible, tasty, healthy food. I can't wait. A world where sweets are not bad for you. Mwah. Can't wait. So, hello, everybody. My name is Maya Shoshana Ugan. I'm the CTO of Quickreach, and I'm extremely honored to host in this session Professor Vincenzo Progliano. Chair of Food Quality Design at Wageningen University. So very honored to have you with us today. Uh, how do you see the trend for food that is less, you know, less sugar, less saturated fat, less synthetic ingredients, uh, less salt? No, th this, is, uh, this is very important. Sorry, I forgot to mention. Actually, this is a major trend, what we call the, the free from food. Eh? That's uh, essentially... In many cases, is a, it's also a market trend. So you see that, uh, I don't know, you see gluten-free also on products that have never meant to be to contain gluten. But on the other hand, uh, it's a need. And I like to connect this also with the idea that now is, uh, is coming to have uh, less processing in general, less, less refining uh, in order to stay closer to the, let's say, the goods of nature, how, how Mother Nature prepare these, we try to preserve with, with processing. So in this respect, uh, it's, it's a nice trend. Of course, uh, you have to be careful about the exaggeration. And eh? so like uh, you see something like water without calorie. Okay, that's uh, uh, <laughs> these type of things we, we want to avoid. But in general, uh, having the, the, the as much as possible uh, labels with less ingredients, uh, let's also go with the sustainability part. So that's... Uh, I think we should favor this type of transition. So let's talk about the process. Let's say, you know, we're talking about food becoming more healthy, but let's think about the way it's happening. You know, we, talk about, we talked about what is happening, but let's talk about how. So do you think 
is this an evolution? Is this a revolution? How quickly is it happening? Who are the key drivers? How do you see this process? I think there are some processes that have been demonized without reason uh, because some, uh, some thermal processing are still perfect in, in certain uh, food categories. For instance, uh, dairy. I mean, in dairy, we have uh, excellent uh, thermal pasteurization, uh, sterilization that are really make the product very, keep the product very good. On the other hand, this innovative processing that we are now proposing, uh, like the non thermal processing uh, uh, strategies, uh, can be very suitable for, for some product. I mean, fruit and vegetables, for instance. So, a, a good combination of uh, old fashioned food technology because they uh, are, are uh, you know affordable and uh, and reliable and new technologies i think that there where where we can uh, find our peace at the end of the day okay sounds interesting so thank you very much i think our time is up it was a real pleasure talking to you and getting great inter insight into relation between food and health hope that all of us will stay healthy and get the food that we we'll need to make to to stay more healthy in the future, and we are all committed to this to this significant target in the food industry, and we hope to see our food becoming more and more healthy on to scientific advances, collaboration with academia, industry, investors, and emerging technologies. So happy to have you today. Thank you very much, Maya, and thank you for all the audience. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>